Hello and welcome to Boat Car Adventures. As you know, our epic adventure has begun. From Wales to Lancashire, then to Norfolk. So far, we've met some phenomenal people and seen some amazing views, making memories that would last a lifetime. Coming up, we ventured through some gates that led us to a secret village. It's not a secret anymore. The weather brightened up and we found a phenomenal beach so the kids could play. And we learned how to say the longest word in the world. Come and see what happened next. That's Mari. That's Vanessa. That's Ava. That's me. And that's Chris. We're the family traveling a million miles in our boat car. We hope you enjoy our journey. Hi guys, welcome to Italy. We're in Sicily at the moment at the most furthest point of the island where there's great growing trees, olives. The olives are amazing. The sun is kind of shining. It's all good. Can't believe we've actually made it in Columbus. It was a long journey. It's uh, whoa, 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 hello. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, Italy? Yeah, Italy, yeah. No. You're Sicily. not in Italy. Sic we're Sicily. No, you're not Sicily. You're not in Italy. You are in Port Marion. Port Marion, a multi-award winning UK attraction. The village nestled on the coastline of the northwest of Wales. With over 200,000 visitors, Sir Clock William Ellis turned his dreams <laughs> into I was trying to do something. I was trying to act like I know what I'm talking about. And you have to redo <laughs> anyway, let's blow my Tilly thing out the window. So anyway, let's go and see some more. Beautiful oh, daffodils. Was, oh, Pretty like you. They're, they're dying. Amazing. I mean, look at this, guys. I never knew this place existed until literally a month or so ago. And we've been everywhere in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> not covered all of, all of Wales yet. And definitely not today because of issues. But this is amazing. I mean, um, yeah. Can you believe that this has been created by someone? And this is just one. This is where actually right next to There's actually a swim pool over there. But you can see the mountains and stuff in the background. Well, you can normally see them, but it's, you can just, it's just like, yeah, misty. <laughs> it is truly, and I amazing. mean truly yeah. amazing. I've never said this about anywhere else. The colours, yeah. even though it's, even though it's a, a bleak day and a damp day, as I was saying earlier, the colours just like pop yeah. literally out to even you. Even now the weather's like, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's, um, so we're going to go up, we're going to go up, right, right up there. A famous viewpoint. Right, we've got to the top. Very out of breath, <laughs> but we're here. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so 
It's it's amazing. We're actually really excited. We have been given exclusive rights, essentially, to be in here all by ourselves. With we Columbus. Up late. With Columbus, Columbus yeah. inside. We actually, was allowed, we actually allowed... We're, there's no one around, it's just us. No, yeah. We've got this old place for ourselves. It's absolutely nobody out there at all. Yeah. The park is closed. So as you saw, we were late because Columbus broke down and we were gutted. And we're inside, which is great. It's amazing. It's like going to old towns and said, look, I have the keys and you can go to Any roll cars ride. all day and we're closed, but we'll yeah. do it all day long. Oh, absolutely. But this is better. So yeah. anyway. it is raining. We're at the top of this mound, which has absolutely fantastic views. Yeah. Look at this across the whole of the village and yeah you cannot you cannot fault it this place has got colors beyond belief you know the, it's still it's a dank day um the rain is falling it's very misty looking yep. and still the colors are popping out to us the gentleman who envisaged this place sir cloth williams ellis who thought who? of this cloth Illiam, cl cloth, Illiam. <laughs> <laughs> cloth that's like cloth. <laughs> Sir, Clough Williams Ellis. And you lot want us to learn Welsh in three days. It's not going to happen. <laughs> so, Sir Clough Williams Ellis. Ellis, yeah, Ellis. He yeah. envisaged this place before actually finding the land. Yeah. And then he found the land and then he made of it what his mind thought of, which is just really inspiring. We need, we need some more very smart minds at the moment. Oh, because, absolutely. Like I said, right, as you go around the UK, they're building lots of properties everywhere. And... Um, they build the same mundane properties. These yeah. square boxes look like prisons. They look like, seriously, they look like prison camps, literally. And just imagine, Lane, mm. if developers around the, around the UK yeah. could build themed areas where people live, themed, yeah. themed residents, you know. I mean, this could be carless. You yeah. know, I'm not saying I'm, I'm all for cars, but <laughs> it's just, just the way it is. It's like, by taking the cars out, Don't need a car. it just makes you can park outside, but it can make... It feels like you're actually in Italy. Literally. And then everyone could drive golf carts around. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Imagine having golf carts outside your house. <laughs> you drive around to the local shop, Italiano. Yeah. yeah. You drive around to your pizza restaurant, Italia. It's all Italian themed, um, Spanish. It's whatever. Yeah, it's German, amazing. even German. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's an amazing place in Germany. Swedish. Swedish. You can create that exactly like this. Yeah. But this is one of the kind in the UK. Yeah. And. That's why I'm glad I'm here. You can't drive around here, so we have got exclusive rights to yeah. drive Columbus. We're driving around in the village. Yeah, uh, but we, <laughs> <laughs> but you can once you get to your parking, you can get a little buggy. Hire, yeah. uh, they, you don't even need. I don't hire think I, I think they take you it's around. Just, yeah, yeah. It's free. I think you, Part of yeah. the service. Yeah, isn't it? you're walking around. I see this stop and ask you for a lift. Yeah, back to you. And yeah, you cannot you cannot buy a property here. You can't live here, no. but you can rent a home here, like Lane said. Yeah, and they're all, all the buildings here are actually hotels. Oh, it's amazing. And so you actually stay here, and you're right next to the coast, it's a beautiful beach, you've got islands, you've got mountains in the background. Yeah. I can stay here for a week. Oh, absolutely. I can actually stay here for a week yeah. and just lose myself and just... Imagine sun. God. I Something know. we see rarely in the UK. Yeah. And, yeah, so... Um, now, guys, it's important we get out and support this. Yeah, I, up to a month ago, I didn't know this was here. It was no. meeting people, and they said, look, go on, you know, we tell them we do YouTube, we tell them what we do. They said, have you been here? Have you been there? Check this out. Mm. So we was invited here. We kind of invited us down to come and have a look. And we're we, very happy. That we're we happy. And, and we're really, here. we've made this happen because if it was anything to go by what today started like, we wouldn't nah. have come here at all. <laughs> no. And, and again, we're the typical British who, like, go on holiday and we jump on a plane and... Yeah. That gone. And then we're like, yeah, hola, whatever. We're in another country enjoying it, which is great. And I don't... I love Spain. I love Italy. I love all other countries. But in the UK, you've got this. And you can be here within... <laughs> to be fair, it takes longer than going to Spain. Yeah. I've got to be honest with you, it's a long drive if you're... It was. From, depends from where, where you are. are yeah. from, from most parts of the world. It's right the other side of Anglesey. I'm um, sorry, the, um, of Wales, sorry. And, but it is worth the drive. I would happily come back and stay here for three or four nights. Yeah, we and, definitely should. And not leave. Yeah. It'd be amazing just, and just try and live that Italian life. Yeah, amazing. Um, and we're in, it's empty, it's closed. So we need to come back and see it in the full flesh running. Yeah. All sitting and dancing, all Italian speaking. Mm. Do they speak Italian here? I don't. They barely so. speak Welsh. <laughs> what's what's wrong with you Welsh people? <laughs> you mean everyone's everyone's like, I how are you? I'm like, I don't speak Welsh. Can you speak Welsh? <laughs> Not really. Um we don't I can't bother. I can speak a bit of Welsh. You go on. Cliff. What's his name? What's he got to do with it? I Cliff. think it means stop or slow. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh look! 
Is that the church? Is there's that a bell that? chime in. There. It's there, isn't it? Yeah, that yeah one. it's up there. Yeah, yeah. The bell. There's a bell chime there, and um, oh, it's. I can imagine it being so warm, and it would be so romantic here. It would just be so nice. Oh yeah, imagine. Yeah, listen. It's we're doing too much reminiscing. We're actually here. Like it's <laughs> cold. It's windy. It's raining, and we're reminiscing our great spaces, and it's something warm. You imagine if it was sunny. I know. Oh. I know. And the seas. There. Oh man, listen. We've got so much just to see. And we've got it all to ourselves. Why are we wasting our time? Yeah. Enjoying this view way too much. <laughs> Let's carry on. We're in Port Marion. Let's go. Okay. Well, got these little steep places. Where are you? Oh, we're coming. Oh, sorry. Come on. <laughs> I'll walk around one. Yeah. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Careful. Ava? Ava, you okay? Yeah? It's just like his wet. Oh, that's a bit wet, is oh, it? Oh, they, it, sorry. Stay so local with us. But guess what I found? What's that? Wow. Guys, Ava, Nessa, I mean, Nessa and Mari. I found it. Oh, was it you? Oh, guess what Mari found, apparently. <laughs> Never told about it. But anyway, this is a cannon. Looks like it originally was meant to be here. Yeah? To protect and, the island. Yeah, and obviously oh. there wouldn't be no trees here. So yeah. they will fired straight over into this into the sea and um, defend. I wonder if it's real or, or is it just, yeah, it may just, just show. Been, yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to well of it. But saying that, it's still a point of entry what could be invaded by the UK before the village came here. True. So maybe it was originally here and they kept it. Hmm. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what you think because um, it'd be interesting to know. Um, um, how this cannon got here, why it was put here, was it just a display or was it actually a form of defence? Let me know in the comments, guys. Right, let's carry on. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, one thing, there's no information saying what's what. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit disappointing. It's be good to know what I this was, it. but let me just I double see. check. Oh. But it looks like a bed of some kind. <laughs> With a broken <laughs> With a, pillar. Yeah, it's carved as a pillar. Yeah. It's quite interesting. <laughs> yeah, there's no there's nothing saying what it is, but um <laughs> it's it looks like it's meant to be some kind of bed, I don't know. Oh, unless this is I made up tree trunks, there. amazing. Right, yeah, so let's continue. <coughs> no, that's me, dead boy. That's me for fun. You must be careful of here is in a way that the stones are slippery, so don't be like me having trainers on. I've got walking boots, I forgot them, so don't be like me. <laughs> it's gonna be good content, but I've got a long way to drive and I can't do it about that. <laughs> no, it's the first port of call on our journey, and it's amazing. <laughs> right, so we're back in um, the piazza, I believe it's called. And look at that, look, it's so authentic. Authentic as you're gonna get. It's like it's weird. I tell you, Italy and Spain look very similar in the architecture, the colours. Why can't Britain do? You get pink houses, Dave, and they want to complain to the council. They go, I know. Oh, you go to Oh, the neighbours destroyed my street because I know. they're painting their house pink. What's look at this it? place. I know. It's amazing. 
It no. just makes you feel happy. God, this, this, this is what life's about, feeling happy. This is what we're about. Um, it's just, I'm, I'm feeling the colours. I'm feeling the colours. And the Columbus looks perfect. Next to a peach, <laughs> exactly. peach building. Yeah. Looks perfect. Bright yellow Columbus. He just definitely fits in around here. Yeah. I wonder if anything's living in it. Um, probably with a pond, so maybe. Something else, I wonder, so. It might be the only thing slipping slow. Yeah. But, but maybe they've yeah. opened the gate. Yeah. You see the water going out down there somewhere, so maybe they've opened it to let the water down. Mm. Keep it fresh. Guys, come on, please, this way. <laughs> just crazy now. Rubbish the weather is. Good old Britain never looks it out. <laughs> and we're still. It's still full great nice to be here. Look, oh, got a big chessboard. Oh yeah! I think they use real people on this one. Yeah, I think they use real people on this one. They probably dress up like kings, queens and all that and they stand around and, and, and then... Yeah, so and they stand around and they, they play the game. Hi right, guys, we just tried to get some fo um, drone footage, but the weather's not great, so we're gonna have to come back another time and do some drone footage. It's windy, it's rainy, and um, we've got a little bit, but yeah. not what we wanted, so a no. bit disappointed, but we'll come back um, when the weather's um, broken and try and get some drone footage for you guys. It is, as you can see, been here for a long time now. It's getting quite dark. Hi right, guys, we've come to the end of our journey, and we're gonna be leaving Port Merriam. Yes, it's been fantastic. We've had a fantastic time. It's been raining, as we said, it's been dank and, and all, all dreary and stuff. But yep. the colours, as I keep saying, as I keep banging on about these colours, it's been fantastic. Yep, so we're going to make our way out now. We're now holding up the queue of people <laughs> trying to go home. And we'll speak to you later. Bye. Bye. North Wales has so many beautiful beaches, but until now, we didn't manage to get to one. So the following morning, we went to a beach so the kids could play. Before we could do that, Sue, the owner of the apartment, told us a place we must visit. So you need to visit And there we have it, the longest word in the world. Hi guys, we've reached Nubra. 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 <laughs> I'm trying to learn Wales at the moment. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I was about to go a bit of an accident. That's fine. No, no, don't, 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 do don't do it. I'll get thrown out of Wales before I get to the, the other side of it. Um, yeah, now. <laughs> Um, we are in a gorgeous, at a gorgeous beach. We've not seen it. We've not seen it yet. No, we're we have the car park. On the, car the way park. down, though, you could see that view, and that view was just stunning. We haven't got down to the obviously the beach side yet, but yeah, I can I can just imagine it when it's summer and it's just nice and flat. It would just be amazing. But we haven't seen it, as Chris said. No, nope, but the car park is gorgeous. <laughs> and the car park, like, this could be in anywhere, and it's be nice to park here and just have a picnic. And you got barbecue areas in the car park. We've seen. We ain't gonna barbecue. It's really I disappointed. Know, that's a shame. And could have had a cookout. Could have had a cookout, and it's warm. Mm. It's actually warm here. Mm. Um, albeit the, the, every now and again um, a mist comes over a bit of rain but it goes and it's just warm anyway so um, we're gonna go and have a look at the beach take you guys with us and let me know what you think um, so far the car park is anything to go by it's gonna be great it's gonna be epic Definitely. anyway right so let's go yeah I'm sure we can step over that'd be better yeah. Hmm. 
Mm. Oh wow. Oh my god. No way. Are you kidding me? Wow. Bro, really? They're okay. Oh my god. Bro. I don't think the pictures do it justice. No. Oh my word. Right guys, we're in Newborough Beach. Newborough, have I said it right? Newborough, yeah. Newborough Beach. I've got enough to say, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at the mountains in the background. You know, I watched lots of, uh, you know, I watched lots of other people do this beach stuff and it yeah. was like, oh, stunning. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's not that great. Trust me, it is, it is absolutely amazing. I cannot believe this is in the UK. I, and it's warm. I know. Oh, I, wow. wonder, I wonder if it's too windy for the drone. Right, I believe there's an island right at the end there. It's called Monks Island. And apparently at low tide, which it is now, um, I believe, you can walk across. We're obviously not gonna do that today. We're not, we haven't got enough time and I'm not sure there's tide states are at the moment. But we'll come back and do that. But this beach goes for miles and miles and miles. It's, it's amazing. Anyway, we're gonna try and get some drone footage. Try and get tightened up. Try and get tightened up. And every time we keep doing the wind's been a bit too much or it's been raining, so um see what we can do. Down on this very, very gorgeous beach, by the way. We wanted to do some go, um, some DJI shots, and we just remembered <laughs> I was about to take off that we can't on Anglesey Island or anywhere near it because you got not one, not two, apparently three military bases within five miles Such of the zone. So we're in no fly zone. Yeah, we can't fly John, unfortunately. It had to be here. We could be anywhere in the world right now. I mean, literally. Amazing. And I'm not saying that. We could be literally anywhere in the world. Yeah. So, um, all I can say is, I'm amazed. Oh, proper amazed, yeah. And I can imagine on a nice, calm, sunny day, oh, it would be breathtaking, I think. It's breathtaking it now. <laughs> Why isn't everyone on this beach? It's gone. It's warm. I mean, you could just sit here and with a towel on the floor and it is it yeah, sand. totally. It's the not sand's cold. beautiful. It's not cold. It's, got, it's breezy. There's a few dog walkers on the beach and stuff and families, but where's everyone? Where's everyone? Why get out of your houses? But wow, I'm just amazed. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week on our next adventure coming up on Boat Car Adventures. It's been a fantastic time in Wales. Um, highlights for me. <laughs>I <laughs> can't believe that. That one's tight, but look, look. No. Every single one that's been undone. Right. That is unbelievable. That's actually quite worrying because we've got kids.